Good morning, everyone. Same procedure as every year. Short update for the analytic apps since the last four, year, four years already or so in my slide set. Um, my name is Marcel Chirello. Um Since this year, I'm working for Nextcloud itself as a sales engineer. Before, um, I was working for several years uh, in the community with first starting with the audio player and now since some years starting with the analytics app. Um, before going to the, to the app itself, um, I would like to get one, one step back. Um, why develop an app for, um, on the Nextcloud platform at all? Um, Nextcloud itself um, has, has quite some advantages for app developers. If you have an idea of a new app, you start your own personal hello world on, on, your, on your PC. Um, after a while, you realize, ah, I want to do more, I want to scale, I want to scale up. And then you start thinking about all the basics. And this is where Nextcloud comes in. Everyone thinks of Nextcloud as a file-based solution where we have some additional apps. But I think it can be seen also as a platform, which then makes the integration and scaling of apps um, easier to, to develop new apps. As an example, Nextcloud, of course, has a core with all the APIs. Nextcloud is well established and tested, so you don't need to develop everything from scratch. Start from new. Uh, very important, what helped me a lot during the first years is the community. It's very big. You have a very big ecosystem already with an app store. Uh, where you can publish your app, which also gives you a big user audience compared to developing an app from scratch and trying to advertise it on your own. Also, Nextcloud itself is supporting the community with developer resources, so, so you have a good quick start, let's say it like this. And when you pro want to promote your app, sooner or later will come about security, databases, storage, all of this is available in Nextcloud if you regard the Nextcloud as a platform. And I think this is what makes it valuable to develop an app on this platform. This is what I did with the analytics. Um, high level view, what does analytics offer um, before I go into some actual use cases? Of course, um, every analytics is about two big topics. It's about data and it is about visualization. For data, um, analytics is dependent on, on the one end on real-time reporting, real-time data sources, or also on internal stored data within the internal data warehouse. It's built up completely flexible, so you can attach multiple data sources on it, or can even can develop your own data sources for your own apps or for your own um, external data. Some examples are Nextcloud internal data, like files or Nextcloud tables. Uh, we have an API. You can grab JSON data, whatever you want from, from an existing uh, web source. Um, there's an API to push data in, or as mentioned, you can develop your own data sources. Visualization, I would say nothing special. Charts, tables, dashboards, whatever you would expect from an from a analytics app. But how can the app actually help you? I have four um, actual use cases where the app is currently being used. Let's start with the first one, um, Blue Dragon Children Foundation, Germany. It's a foundation um, yeah, for uh, helping kids in Vietnam. Um, it's based on Salesforce in this example. Um, it's using the Salesforce Sales Cloud to track opportunities, donations, and also the internal costs. And here we are using Dash Analytics to connect with the data source to the Salesforce API to extract donation data and, and cost data to create reports for the owners and, and uh, not for the owners, for donors and for the contributors. Why are we doing this? Um, Salesforce is not that cheap. Um, by this one, you can create reports for your contributors with, um, yeah, without having additional licenses. Something similar, Nextcloud internal. We have an Udo CRM system. We also connect analytics to the Udo, where an API extracts leads and sales data to create sales reports. Another example was also there last year already. Novus is an engine manufacturer in Germany. As a small company SAP solution to extract logistics data out of SAP. This is automatically being pushed into Nextcloud. It's ZSV files, basically. Analytics is pushing and taking up these files, visualizing, the, uh, visualizing them in tables, and then Novus is using the sharing API to share this data, like packaging list with the storage locations, and also like providing a freight cockpit for customers and the forwarders. Also here, 
using Nextcloud and analytics to forward data um, without the need of having SAP user account. As mentioned yesterday, already with the Tables app, um, Nextcloud uh, Analytics also has an integration there. We can integrate to tables, to views, use this one to visualize the data in charts and dashboards, or, or to use a, to use a um, historization for reports, like daily snapshots of, of data from the Tables app to create a trend over the last weeks, months, or years. This was just a quick overview. Um, I'm always interested in more use cases to be presented uh, the next years. If you have any suggestions, other use cases, feedback, happy to talk to you. Thank you very much.